Okay, as you can see, I haven't done a single battle on the record bus yet. So Lini, as you already know, is for the SC God's charge, again by 33%. You can also use many other units that do the same thing. Priestess, Wolf, even the new Ray. Now Wolven Pride Yuri. And this one is just here to remove the magic buff. Although he's a pretty good unit, he debuffs the enemy's physical resist by 50%. So if you want to use his special one time for that, it's good. He can buff his strength and earth attack damage by 50%. His second skill, he can debuff uh, your enemy's earth resist and guard rate by 40%. So it's a guard rate debuffer bigger than you already have. That's good. And with his third skill, he removes Rivera's magic buff. So pretty good. And he's physical, and my team is all physical. Now, here, Knight Elf Rildion is one of the stars of the party. She's going to hit super hard because of her, her awesome buffs. So strength plus 80%, win the death damage plus 60%. Uh, with her third skill, debuffs physical resist, win resist and guard rate by 25%. And with her second skill, she deals a plus 35% per each target's guard rate reduction skill. So Silver Adventure Goblin Slayer, this, this is probably the main damage dealer. The one that's going to deal the most damage, so 60% per each self strength buff, a total of 120%, and he buffs his strength and dark attack damage by 90%. 90% to dark attack damage, it's a lot. His first skill is super good also for survivability because he buffs the enemy's crit rate and pen rate, and reverse pen rate is super high. Uh, and he debuffs the enemy's physical resist by 30% and dark resist also by 30%. With his second skill, attack type on still targets plus 20%. And with his third skill, he buffs himself strength and dark attack damage by 40%. So yeah, like I said, he is going to hit a lot. Now, Otterald is just here as a revolving amulet unit. Honestly, you don't need anything else besides Goblin Slayer. But he's just here, he provides a few extra debuffs. You can use him in two ways. One, you go with his second skill and debuff your enemy's physical resist, earth resist, and guard rate. That earth resist is already covered uh, by 40% for Yuri. The guard rate is already covered by Ryu and Yuri. Uh, his guard rate debuff is higher. And the physical resist debuff is 5% higher than Goblin Slayer. Another option you go with his third skill and buff the enemy's strength and magic by 45%, which is 5% higher than our. Uh, you go for survivability with this. Like I said, you don't need much more. And lastly, Aru for the strength and magic plus 100% to keep your buffs and the buffs going. Now this Black Rose of Aestius, she debuffs the enemy's physical resist and guard rate by physical resist minus 10% and guard rate minus 8%. Uh, here the Vulture Sun Juno Arime, attack type all and skill target plus 15%. Duralas get 20 MP heal per turn. The 20 MP heal per turn, let me tell you that, at least for Yuri, uh, it makes a, a good difference. You can use other attack type single target units that uh, give you a uh, boost. Yellow Bird has a strength plus 15% and falls wind resist minus 15%. Also, water resist. Okay, as for here, Hero of Six Sword Maiden, strength and magic and dark resist minus 15%. This is so good. Give us all of that. Here, this is to buff a Goblin Slayer even more. Water and dark attack damage plus 15%. This is why I say using a uh, water unit on this team can be an excellent idea. And for last key strategy is Finn. So uh, he's here for increasing your SA God's charge gain by 22% and also provides a ton of other small buffs. Like I said, you have another option besides Yuri, which I am probably going to test later which one of them is the, the best one. 
It's not a, a single target unit, but at the same level he deals more damage. So certainly spell granal. Uh, he debuffs the enemy's uh, strength, magic and agility before our arriving, so that is extremely good. And with his second skill he can remove the enemy's strength and magic buffs. And his third skill, uh, it's your single target attack. It's simple, it removes ailments. Uh, not more than that. Thing is, he's, he's a water unit. Only reason I'm using uh, Yuri instead of him, it's for his uh, special that debuffs the physical resist of the enemy by a lot. Okay, let's do this. Let's skip this. Okay, so, as you can see here, uh, she's weak to wind and dark. Okay, let's start with the spotlight, instinct, velocity, and command lead. Now, I'll be honest with you, I still don't know if I should go for damage or if I should go for survivability. Okay, first let's try going for damage. Let's go with obliterate. And here we're going with woven lore. Here, let's go with wind fury. And let's go with sweeping sword here. It's going to be tough because of their survivability. Because in this turn, I have to use Yosuke to... Well, to keep his debuffs. So let's use Yosuke. Let's go with Tribe Alpha here. Uh, let's go with Cyclosity. And let's go with Smash. Okay, maybe our counters can save the day. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go with Akane. Yeah, let's keep the rest as it is. Okay, Akane went first. Star counters. That is good. Yeah, but they're not going to regen MP. That is tough. Oh, it worked. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go with Yosuke, let's go with Instinct, let's go with uh, Velocity. And all of these are the buffs, so... That means that we can go with Smash the whole game. Okay, now as long as Aru goes first, everything should be fine. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now here we can go with Chika. Uh, actually, we can't. Uh, I'm going to go with his special, so we have to go with Yosuke. Now, I don't need to reuse the debuff, so Cyclos to here. Smash here, special arts here. Open incarnation. Yeah, that's a 20% damage increase. Okay, now we can go with Chika. As for here, let's go with Tribe Alpha. And let's keep the rest. Awesome. Here I have to go with the Oscar. Actually, the special might be a problem. Because that doesn't regen MP. Well, 
we'll see. We'll see. Special arts here. Here. Uh, let's go with district. Here, let's go with velocity and mesh. The good thing about Gold Slayer is that on uh, Otal and Rivera's Record Buster, you can go with Smash the Wall game once you set the debuffs. That's why he's still one of the best single target units. Now, here on turn 9, she also increases her magic. So, if you need, remove it. Now, here, I can go with Tribal for now. And Yosuke again. I think I didn't test two specials ready last turn. I think, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, I'm going with his special arts. He's going to buff himself also. So, strength and dark attack damage plus 90%. That's a lot. Okay, 600k. Not bad for his first special. It's going to increase. Also, I didn't got a single crit pen, so that's a good damage. I suspect it's going to deal 1 million more damage. Sorry, 1 million damage after that. So, let's see, we can go with Chika here. Let's go with Cyclosity, Trebolfa and Smash. this would need new animes to watch no we don't you need to finish the machi let's go with yasuka here unless you have you have already finished it and they haven't told me Yosuke again. Let's use Chika. Should I go with Akane? I feel like she regens enough to use Yosuke again. Maybe not. Let's go with Chika. Because next turn I do need to go with Yosuke. And yes, we can keep going with Smash here. Yeah, let's keep going with Smash here. I'll, I'm planning on using the special on the last turn. Now I need to go with Oscar here. It's almost over. Almost over. Why? No, no, I don't. I don't want to hear any excuses. Go finish the match. Can't finish the match. I can't commit. Yes, you can. Okay, let's go with that kind of here. And two finishes. Let's go with the special here. Sally, I don't have another special ready. For just a little bit, for just a little bit. Let's use the special here. Power search. Let's see how much damage he's dealing now. Whoa! 1.25 million. And we very couldn't kill a single one of them here. So let's see the score. Two hundred eighty-one million for Rivera's record buster and second place on my group for now. 
I think that's good if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's top 500 at least. Rank 180? Damn, that should be enough to guarantee me the top 500 is record buster. And this was first try. Anyway, if you have any questions or need any help, ask in the comments below or jump into my stream. I stream the memos per week on Twitch, link in the description below. And if this was helpful, leave a like or maybe consider subscribing. And as always, good luck adventures.